Hi everyone, welcome to Europedia. This is Chandrasekhar faculty at Europedia. In this video, we are going to see step-by-step -step procedure of filling IIT Delhi MTech or MS application. Okay, I'll take for example MTech application and I will explain about each and every detail in the application. So there are few important things where students will get confused and they will get doubt. Okay, those things are our main priority. Remaining everything is it is very normal. Okay, it is very normal. Okay, just go to uh, IIT Delhi PG admissions. Yes, IIT Delhi, go to IIT Delhi website and uh, you click on PG admissions. For students, there is, uh, go to IIT Delhi ad, uh, admissions, uh, IIT Delhi website. There you find for students one, one ribbon on the top. Okay, if you click on that, you will get PG admissions 2025 MTech and PhD. Click on it. If you click on it, you get a page here. As I already logged in, yes, I am logged in. That's why, uh, and I created, I signed up. That's why those are those fields I am unable to show here. If you go there, you will get uh, uh, to sign in. But uh, first, you, first of all, you need to register. You register with your mail ID, mail ID, and. Uh, uh, with password using that password and mail ID again you log in it is a very normal process how you do for any other app application right you log in it once you log in yes you get this page yes see signing in first register then sign in okay that is a very normal process there no one finds any difficulty that's why I'm not taking that into consideration right here if you come here it's a very important thing, important information. Welcome to IIT Delhi PG admissions portal. Before starting an application, please ensure that you have the necessary supporting documents for below mentioned areas of work that are applicable for you. Date of birth proof. Generally, sir, what is the date of birth proof? Most of the times we'll take our 10th class certificate, SSC certificate, or some some IITs are accepting your accepting your BTEC certificate where your date of birth is mentioned that also they are taking it as a, your date of birth proof right then educational degree certificates are mark sheets yes here there are doubts sir I am currently in final year I do not have all the mark sheets go to your principal okay he will give you one supporting document okay you can upload that mark sheet whatever you have th those you can use right uh, sir I, I did not yet completed my BTEC uh, I am in the fourth year first semester my second semester fourth year second semester my second semester exams are not done then what to do you need not to worry your principal will support give a supporting document that you can upload right uh, here latest photograph gate or other examination scorecards yes uh, the, here also there is one doubt uh, uh, a student is having sir i do not i am not getting scorecard but the last date of the application is uh, today or tomorrow then what to do you can take the screenshot of it screenshot of it uh, from the iit result your result website no screenshot of it soft copy if you are not getting to download then the, take the screenshot of it the same you can apply we do not have other option if see scorecard is not yet released but uh, today is the last day to apply right today is the last day to apply but we anyhow we definitely we need to fill uh, upload the scorecard we don't do not have scorecard then take the screenshot of it right uh, personal with disability person with disability certificate if applicable cash certificate if applicable suppose if you are if you are obc category or uh, sc or st category you must have your category certificate right then after that click on here apply now but uh, i already uh, filled a lot of uh, fields that's why it is showing like this for me i'll go here update i go here update why because a lot of fields i already filled for you for for you to uh, explain i filled already a lot of uh, fields here now observe here personal details in personal details there are no much doubts see title then uh, uh, middle name right uh, first name all these things you get okay email id mobile number date of birth and uh, you know uh, date of birth nationality category nationality of category father's name parent or guardian email address okay and are you a defense personal if it is s s but most of the times it is no right correspondence address permanent address i'll click on my permanent address and correspondent address both are same that's why the same is copied here then uh, yes observe here observe here first name yes 
So it's first name, middle name. That uh, these are the two columns. Uh, uh, that should that side. This should be there, right? Alternate email ID, alternate mobile number, place of birth, gender, other number, mother's or guardian's name, person with disability, city, postal pin code, telephone number, again city, okay? And uh, telephone code. All these things. Save as drop. Save one next. Go to save one next. All those are very simple, minute details. You need not to worry at all for that. You need not to worry at all. Then when it comes to this page, that is program details, yes, here we must put concentration. Most of the students will go for either uh, M.Tech or uh, PhD, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD or MS Research, here MS Research, MS Research, okay. But I select uh, M.Tech, I select M.Tech, okay, Master of uh, uh, Technology, M.Tech, Master of Technology, right. Then go for department. So student status, mostly uh, we do either full time or sp sponsored. That to self sponsored if it is. Sponsored means uh, they get sponsorship from their company, some PSU, so like BARC. Uh, BARC is not PSU, it is completely government company. BARC sponsor the candidates to pursue their MTech at uh, IITs. Okay, or suppose Coal India Limited is there. If it is sponsoring you to do your MTech, that is for them. It is not self sponsored, it is sponsored. Okay, then department I select uh, electrical engineering department. Okay, yes, uh, I'm taking electrical engineering as an example. Electrical engineering as an example. Electrical engineering. Then COAP registration number. Yes, before you apply this IIT Delhi uh, application or any IIT MTech, then definitely you must have COAP registration. Go to COAP portal. I made a very clear video how to register on COAP portal. That is very simple. Okay. Take that COAP registration number and you fill here. Then you go for the discipline. Then you go for the discipline. Suppose uh, uh, if you want to apply for MTech communication engineering, yes, you can apply MTech communication engineering, right? Uh, so uh, I filled it, but it got uh, deleted. Okay. Say I go for uh, save on next, but it is not going save on next. Why? Because I previously I filled it COAP registration number, but somehow uh, it got. Uh, uh, erased I will fill it once again I will fill it once again COAP registration number I saved it by that COAP registration number I saved in my phone that I am going to fill now here just uh, allow me a moment I will fill that COAP registration number see you have to do save and next save and next that way you need to move forward right uh, my COAP registration number is just I am taking the keyboard here just a minute my COAP registration number is COAP250. Yes. COAP caps COAP250. 250. 13825. 13825. Done. This is my COAP registration number. Yes. Sir. Save and next. Go for save and next. Now academic details. Here academic details. Test name if you have gate scores those gate scores you must mention here yes gate most of the students are going through gate only therefore I'm explaining by taking gate as an example gate and year yes if you have 2024 square uh, 2024 uh, uh, score or 2023 score you can put here okay I have 2024 for example I'm taking discipline so for example I'm taking civil engineering as an example don't think that sir you taken uh, uh, your um, uh, discipline as uh, electrical engineering but you are putting civil engineering score just for example sake then uh, here registration number means your uh, uh, roll number of the gate examination you fill here then scorecard then uh, score obtained automatically it will fetch score obtained maximum score valid up to auto all that automatically it is going to fetch so here just you have to enter your uh, gate registration number gate registration number is uh, all these things I saved but I don't know why it got erased just a minute that gate registration number also I will enter okay for your explanation purpose only I taken all this all this but it got somehow erased I'll fill it once again I'll fill it once again just allow me a moment okay yeah see if I take this is uh, uh, the number I'm taking that is uh, okay I'm entering here I'm entering here Yes, it is asking for enter C E, okay, uh, two four S C E two four S four eight two zero four eight two zero four eight two zero six two six two double one. It is right. Then if I if I just enter it, this you will get automatically. 
valid up to valid up to i think this also should get automatically i need not to fill uh, i need not to fill this yeah it got automatically no no it doesn't got automatically it should get it it should fetch for three years the gate score is valid no suppose it is 2025 till 2028 it is valid i think three years it is valid yes so you must have put that 2028 but uh, it should uh, pop up it should pop up uh, 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 directly uh, we need not to enter we need not to enter okay so uh, right uh, next if you have another gate score another gate score another gate score all these things you can mention over there all these things you can mention over there now here qualifying degree details degree name mostly our degree will be btec btec you select btec okay university name then city year of admission completion of year so if completion of year is uh, uh, 2025 you are going to complete put 2025 put 2025 so here year of admission year of admission uh, suppose you joined in 2022 22 23 24 yeah 2022 you take yes then year of completion 2025 you take right now yes see university name some some university i'm taking so degree name btech degree name btech yes mostly but here some people are having both btech and mbs and ms or integrated mtech like uh, some universities are offering direct ms uh, three years uh, btech two years ms total five years course that also you can select that also you can select see uh, msc mcom btech four years br p form right msc integrated msc msc mtech two to three years chartered accountancy integrated msc integrated msc integrated mtech yes integrated mtech you, you can choose okay if you have that so but our cities uh, btech i'm taking btech uh, as an example yes BTEC or sorry or BRK taken no problem B bachelor of architecture no problem right uh, and after that yes uh, discipline percentage most mostly these days it is GPA it is CGPA discipline uh, it is uh, uh, let me take it as uh, civil engineering institute of co or college name country then result status uh, if you are in the final year put awaited uh, okay most of the students uh, these days i got calls sir i do not have a final year mark sheet i did not have completed my degree but here the very clear option results are awarded if you put awarded then definitely you have to put all your mark sheets but if you are awaited yes then duration is uh, okay three years it is then i need to select here as 2021 2021 i select here right year of completion it is 2025 2025 right so examination level it is examination pattern uh, or evolution pattern it is a semester so all that you fill number of semesters completed yes it is asking you very clearly man if you if you feel that it is the result is awaited yes you it is asking number of semesters completed then it will be showing here if you say that uh, total four years it is eight semester if you say that uh, only seven semesters are completed yes fill here only seven it will ask you the seven semesters result only seven semester results only you need to put here seven semester right here you are filling only up to seven then overall cgpa overall cgpa whatever you have and uh, all seven semesters mark sheet uh, uh, you might got uh, in your from your college all seven semester mark sheet you might got then uh, there is no need of go to going to your principal and getting some document on the, all that not, not required okay seven semesters only will be entering now higher secondary education means your 10 plus 2 level intermediate year of completion issued discipline score obtained maximum score percentage all these things normal things only normal things only yes year of completion i'll put it as uh, 2019 okay for example I, i'll put it as 2019 university board state board simply state i'll i'll write here state many have a state like the town discipline or subjects mine is maths physics chemistry so i put it as mpc i'll put it as mpc done i'll put it as mpc then score obtained so for example uh, if you got 950 out of 1000 you can fill it there out maximum score out of yes it is out of 1000 okay if, if you're see cgpa you can fill that cgpa percentage is 95 rank university if, if you have rank you fill it otherwise that's not mandatory save on next save on next now yes uh, yeah city a few of the things i did not filled that's why it is showing like this and this semester marks also we have to fill uh, okay 
total overall CGPA. This is 999 like that. Whatever you have that you fill. Whatever you have that you fill. So this is the last important thing. Very simple it is. After that experience details. Uh, if you have any experience. If you are going to sponsored category. If you have some experience. Uh, okay. You can fill that experience details. That is very simple. Document upload here. So last thing is document upload. That is as simple as you are taking the PDF copy of it. Scan it. Make the PDF copy and upload there. That's all. Means which documents. All supported documents. He asked about the data birth certificate and mark sheets of the qualifications you have right uh, very in the very first in the beginning i explained to you what are the uh, total documents required he told us okay so those things are important for us those things are important for us right uh, yeah yes or not so that that much simple it is iid delhi application if you have any queries with respect to your application filling you can contact us most important thing in the entire discussion is if you are in final year yes you can put their results are awaited okay how many semesters are completed or first of all if you feel that 2021 to 2025 btech four year you select in the education qualification but uh, uh, if you select 2021 you join 2020, uh, 2025 you are going to get your degree then it will say that three years only completed then the number of semesters completed it will ask very clearly that many semesters marks only will be entering and those many semesters uh, uh, mark sheets only you are going to upload uh, as scanned copies right so that is the most important thing most of the students getting confused there right and some people are asking sir my coip number is not getting updated that is because uh, sometimes the website is slow okay if you have coip number uh, some students ask sir uh, for iic bangalore i am unable to update my coip number it will take uh, for sure okay if the site is busy for two to three minutes it may be busy but after that definitely it will take right if you have any queries you can contact us thank you